so sad. The man just sat there, he farted, he kept looking at the pamphlet in his hand for minutes, that is supposed to be his speech, then he farted again in public. He put down his pamphlet, his aide came back to prompt him to speak. This man has a wife, Chantel Bia, the woman with the biggest hair, always with the biggest wig. 52 year old Chantel Bia, what were you looking at? You would think that the bigger the wig, the more brain somebody would have. You would think this woman would have the fear of God. Hey, bear along. This woman is just using this man. And what happened to his children? We have talked about his children in the past. Is there not one of you that has the fear of God? You see your father like this. You cannot do family meeting. Okay, for you, for you, yeah. Until that, this is not right. You keep putting him out like that. Haba, he be rolling now. What is so hard in the man stepping down? He clearly has no idea that he's president. It is the people around him that need to say enough is enough and ensure that he steps down. Did they not celebrate 40 years in power recently? No wonder he didn't show up to his own party. Is 40 years not enough? How can there not be one family member that would think they need to put an end to this public embarrassment? What is it with us in Africa? This man has no clue that he's a president. Those around him are just taking advantage of that to steal money. Why else would they keep him in power? The same thing is happening in Gabon right now. Remember that their president had stroke and the man has not been well since then. He can barely walk, yet he's not stepping down. In fact, he put his son in charge of the country. Who does that? Hey, Cameroonians. This one, my Cameroonian people, this one passed me. Those surrounding your president are wicked people. They don't want the man to step down. We are praying for you, Olodio Keyan. Let me know what you guys think about what happened to the president of Cameroon at the US Africa summit. Meanwhile, I just want you guys to, you know, take one minute and talk to me about this whole US Africa summit thing. I, I think it's great. But I also think it's sad when you look at it in a different way that the only time these African leaders will gather is when America says, come. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. The U.S. will always protect its own interests. I live in the U.S. I have nothing against the U.S. But when will Africa also start protecting its own interests? Can any African leader say that Western presidents should gather themselves and they will all run to Africa? Why can that happen? Are we not equals? Like, let me know what you think about that. Also, seeing their picture, it makes me sad. Where are the women? Women are more than half the population of Africa. And then you see the picture of the African leaders and you see mostly men. I know this is not just happening in Africa. It's happening in different continents as well. But it's about time we change that and show the actual face of the people of Africa. Half of us are women, and so women should be represented at the power level. Amen. So, but let me know what you guys think about all that. I know it's a lot to think about. We talked about Peter Obi at Chatham House. We talked about Cameroonian president not knowing where he is. We talked about the U.S. Africa summit. But